Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, it's pretty clear this country is in pretty bad shape. Unemployment is high. Wages for those who are working are down. Poverty is growing. The middle class is shrinking. Our infrastructure is deteriorating. Our deficit and debt continue to get bigger and bigger. It's pretty obvious that a once great nation has taken quite a fall. But here's a little something to think about. Over the years, conservatives have gotten everything they wanted when it comes to economic policy. Tax rates for the rich are at the lowest they've ever been. They now have more wealth than ever and a higher percentage of the wealth than at any time in American history. Unions are weaker and smaller than they've ever been before. Regulation of business is practically non-existent. And yet, if you listen to conservatives, we need to do more for the rich and get rid of the few regulations we do have. Here is the truth. The entire reason America is in the shape we're in is because of conservative economic policies. There is a simple reason for this. It's that for conservatives, the ideal country is a third world country, a country controlled by the rich, for the rich, where the elite run everything and the people are powerless. The only way America is going to return to greatness is to completely undo conservative economic policies. We have to stop coddling the rich and focus on the middle class. We have to go back to progressive tax rates, forcing the rich to pay their fair share. Some of that money should be used to pay off our national debt, and some of it should be put back into the economy in the form of education grants, subsidies for small businesses and startups, and grants for entrepreneurs. And put some of that money into rebuilding our infrastructure. Union rights should be strengthened and companies should not be allowed to give raises to CEOs without giving corresponding raises to workers. The problem is not that there isn't enough wealth. It's that so few people are being allowed to share in it. Here's the simple fact. A vote for a conservative, any conservative, is a vote to turn America into Uganda. Thanks for listening.